Hello guys, Salty Gamer here, and today I'm going to talk about why I don't enjoy watching horror anime series or reading horror manga anymore. If you haven't noticed, it has been a long time since I reviewed a horror anime series. I would say I was the biggest horror anime fan a couple of years ago. I've seen almost every horror anime series. There's only a couple of newer horror anime series I haven't seen yet. The reason being is that I'm just tired of the horror genre, so I just don't enjoy it anymore. Is it because of the same reason why everyone else hates horror anime series? Nope. I have my own different reasons. People usually hate horror anime series because they end without the main character picking a girl. But that's not the case for me. Let's start with the obvious. The first girl that appears in the anime series usually wins the main character's heart. If it's not the first girl, the anime makes it very obvious which girl is the most important female character in the show. It's not always the case, but it usually ends up being that way. That ruins the whole harm aspect to me. What's the point of having all these hot girls around the main character when he only cares about one of them? The others try to flirt with him and win his heart, and he isn't the least bit attracted to them. As much as I enjoyed Rosario Vampire, it was frustrating that Skunae was only attracted to Mocha. It's like, just make a romance anime series already. The harm aspect is pointless, not to mention, it makes the ending very obvious. You already know who the main character is going to end up with, so that really ruins the enjoyment of the show. My second issue is that the main character in these types of shows have all these hot girls trying to flirt with him, yet he never makes a move on them. There are some shows like The Testament of Sister's New Devil where we get to see nice etchy scenes involving the harem, but in many of these harem anime series, at most, the main character will accidentally fall and touch their breasts. That's it. It doesn't go much further than that. And even in series, where the main character touches the girls, it's not like the guy takes charge and makes a move. It's more like he must touch them so that they can get a power up and defeat a powerful opponent. It's just disappointing to see main characters afraid to make a move. The third issue and the most important issue is that I just hate the direction that most of these horror anime series take. They usually end up with the main character picking a girl that I obviously liked from the beginning. This is very similar to the first reason why I don't like horror anime series anymore. But in this reason, I'm just saying specifically, I don't like it when a main character in the Harm anime series picks only one girl. It's like, we get all this romantic buildup between him and the girls, all of these funny and enjoyable moments, and it's all gone. He will never get to spend time with these girls together again. He may never see them again. They're going to get their own boyfriends, and they may never want to see them again. It's just so sad to watch. The anime Saikano how to raise a born girlfriend had so many great interactions between the main character and the girls. I did enjoy just because of one girl. Together, the girls made the show interesting to watch. It's like I always wanted to see them together with the main character. I was spoiled about the ending and I couldn't believe it. He only picked one girl. All of these funny interactions with the girls trying to get the main character's attention. All of the great memories. And to know that he'll never be with them anymore, it's like, why did I even watch the show to begin with? The same unhappy feeling is how I felt about Nisikoi as well. All of those amazing moments between the main character and the girls, and we'll never see that again. If I wanted to watch a main character date only one girl, I would just watch a romance anime series. I'm watching this for a harm aspect, and you're telling me they won't all end up together? Even after all those amazing memories? Even after the amazing moments the main character had with each of the girls, and those great moments of them all hang out together. I don't read horror manga anymore, but when I did, I read every Resolve Vampire chapter. It was very heartbreaking seeing all the girls in Skunae's harem having all these other guys flirt with them and you just feel an NTR vibe. Even though Skune was only attracted to Mocha, it still felt like NTR, and you just know the other girls won't end up with Skune. The manga ending for Resolve Vampire was open, but it's obvious he'll end up with Mocha. Now here's the part where I really rage. Do you know why these writers, why these anime fans don't want to see a harm ending? It's because it's not realistic enough for them. As if it was realistic to begin with. An average guy having a harm is so unlikely in real life. It will rarely happen. You probably have a better chance at winning the lottery. So what's wrong with giving a fantasy situation a fantasy ending? We know it's very unlikely to see a guy end up with multiple girls in real life. I'm not reading manga or watching anime though, because I want to see realistic things. I watch anime and read manga because it's an escape from reality, where we can see a world in which a guy has a harem. 
where we can see main characters fighting and use cool powers. Where we can see dragons and people being sent to different worlds. I'm not watching this because I want to see things in a realistic view. I will never understand the argument that a harm ending is bad because it's unrealistic. So I refuse to watch harm anime series or read harm manga unless there is a confirmed harm ending. To me, I still can't understand why people watch harm anime series and then quickly want the main character to choose a girl. Just watch a romance anime series if that's the case. So that's what I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.